have a Venus leg ulcer. Um, it started opening up May of 04. It closed up for about six months and then reopened and then opened for about three months and then closed again and now here I'm back. Now I'm participating in the study. I don't know whether I'm getting the phages on my leg or not. Um, but I come in once a week and they uh, clean out the wound. Every other week they take a culture and blood samples for their study, for the research. And I, I change the dressing at home twice a week. And at the end of the study, they will allow me to know if I've received the phages or not. And uh, they'll tell me all that um, they've recorded about my wound and about the study in general from day one through the end of the study. And that's about all I know. <laughs> okay, so we'll take a look at your leg. Okay. What did they have to do just now when they were applying something? Uh, Vicki was actually giving me an injection to deaden the area so that when um, they debreed it with the machine it, to get the culture, it won't hurt as bad. Is that numb? Mm -hmm. I saw Richard, he's looking real good. Right? He's doing better. Are you done already? Other side. That's okay. I'll turn it over. Take it back. Do what? I said, are you done already? Are you easy, isn't it? Okay. There's my deal. Can I take this one? Is this the first time you've done this? No, sir. How many of the ultrasonics have you had? Four, I think. Really? Yes. Yeah. That's right. Have you seen a difference? It seems to look better, but it's hurting all the time. I wanted to talk to you about the pain medicine, maybe try something else. Already on. I'm on the hydro. Coding. How much are you on? Okay. okay. You let me get that out. It's breaking up real well. It's got okay. a better plane. Okay. And that's it. That's all the Good. water we have. So it cleaned up very easily. Oh, so what do you do? We have to totally get it healed before we can work on the veins because I seem to heal really slow. Even though I'm not diabetic, I, you know, it seems to take me forever. Yeah. In three I, years, I've only been healed for six months once and three months another time. So You'll heal and then we'll... Okay, then we'll discuss it. We'll, we'll get, yeah, it's just safer. You okay. You don't want to do a big procedure down there while there's still a lot of biofilm. Is a and what's the kind of recovery time or whatever? I know, is that not an it's issue? Out, it's outpatient. Okay, great. Outpatient. So even if it's like during the school year, yeah, it, it wouldn't have to be necessarily during the summer right. time? Or? We've had people, I've sent them off, and uh -huh. they get on the plane and they fly home. Oh, day. really? Wow. And then they usually do it on a Friday. And okay, yeah, you've told me that before. I had forgotten. What do you mean? And what about the the children? Do they, do, are they particularly careful? Do they realise that you've got a wound? Yes, because I've told them because it does you know hurt to be bumped. So they're they're careful not to get too close. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> and have you any idea how long the um, study will last and what the uh, what sort of time scale? The, what is the it's time a frame? Six months study. Six months. Um, once a week for twelve weeks. And then they come on their 16th week, and then their sixth month. Okay. Mm. How many patients do you have on it? We're trying to get 40. Right now we ha we've had 27 enroll, and then of course we've had some heal, and then some that um, they'll either um, heal or they'll 
grow the wrong bacteria so you have to fail on the three, box. Three and it seems to work better. And do you mind getting three boxes? Because I'm going to need two boxes for it when I change it at home next week. Oh, please. Thank you. So, Casey, nobody knows then whether um, people are actually having phages the or not. The only people that know is the lab, but okay. the doctor and then the ones that the nurses don't know. All oh, right. And where's the lab? It is on the other side of the clinic. Round the oh, right, they know round the corner yes, then. Yes, okay. just right around the corner. Then it beeps to let you know it's done, and so then it just measures it. It gives you the centimeter squared, the length, and the width. And then this one will tell you, if you push that and put in last time centimeter squared, it lets you know how much it's healed, the percentage, or, yeah. Pretty fancy. It's pretty no. cool. Very fancy. <laughs> well, that really is applied maths. So you cut out a wound, a wound dressing here, exactly the same shape. With the silver we do, it has to be just the size of the, because you don't want this on the skin. Yes, this is the silver acti coat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Promagran on first, and then they'll put the steady gel. This is what you um, make at the clinic, isn't it? It is. They just had to use a different color just so we could distinguish that it was the steady gel. That we oh, I see. Just yeah. specifically for the study, because the other yes. ones are uh, sort of purple color and uh -huh. red. Yes. They're the same thing, but just for the study, they had to, I guess, make it a different color. So you've calculated that from the uh -huh. the new shape. Yeah. Oh. And so these are last. So just weeks. putting one over the top of the other one. Uh huh. Well, oh. um, what we do is get the area. Uh -huh. So this is last week's. So I look at the area of last week's. Fourteen point four for last week. Mm -hmm. And I'll go here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll let me do it again. Let me see. And then I put in last week's, which is 14.4, and then OK, and it tells you yes. <coughs> it's healed what if negative the one is 9%. If it got bigger, it'll give you a positive that, that it's grown. I always forget so, the name. It's pretty cool. It helps. What do you put on around the edge? This is Xenoderm. It helps for this? the redness and for the itching. Right. It keeps the itching down, oh. which is why I like it. Yes. <laughs> Makes it much more comfortable. Oh, much better. How does the hot weather affect the um, comfort of the dressing? Um, this one's not too bad. The, the one she was going to use saw me doesn't seem to work as well. It seems to get hotter and uh, sweatier, but this seems to breathe better for me and stay up. Even when my leg swells and the swelling goes down, this works so mm -hmm. much better. I don't know why, but it works better. It's much more comfortable. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. And if you don't mind, I'll take this one home mm -hmm. to use later. Sure. That's you great. got a sock or a blue booty? Uh, a blue booty would be really good. Thank okay. you. Oh, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Ashley. You're welcome.